Uh, let's actually select it here. We have a custom berry, so everything is fine, right? Yeah. Let's let's go. I want to know what the glass graphene is like. But yeah, this is week three of the ICPL. We're playing against Thriller ninety six, and they have a team. Yes, I know that's a very very niche information that you would have never guessed on your own. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, like put this here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what did they bring? They brought Lucha, Obstagoon, Requin. I did not expect to Requin it in any way, shape, or form. So that is bad. Uh, Roserade, Gastrodon, and um, Lela. Gastrodon is also bad. I did not prep for Gastrodon in the slightest. Yeah, a lot of mods I did not prep for, so that's not optimal. But it's okay, I guess. Do we just lead a land or the problem is Obstagoon can have Defiant? And that would be very annoying. Especially because I don't have a switch and I could just lead U limit and try to like yeah. And maybe even final gambit turn one. And yeah. I think I still wanna bring Lando, I think I wanna bring you, I wanna bring you. So I'll just try top four for now. And then we will see about game two. Like Taurus is also good and uh Grim is also also good, but yeah. We'll just try with this. We will just try. Maybe I will just final gambit turn one. We will see. Like I would rather uh, not final gambit turn one. But if it comes to it, it comes to it. Just this boulder. How much max HP can this boulder have? I wouldn't mind final gambiting this one to be honest. But it can it can out HP me. I think I probably just wanna bug bust this, yeah. Yeah, I'll just bug bust it once. If it's sticky webs on me, that should be kind of fine. I might do it care with if it's yeah, if it's not sped off. It just straight up liquid, it probably kills me. Yeah, final gambit would have been better. Already losing one turn one, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It is okay. I could just go for Lando and click a Stone Edge, but I don't like locking myself into Stone Edge. But it's also not that bad going to you but I risk you being fast I reckon it because I don't run any speed I even run minus speed I mean Lando is still risky just because I can miss Stone Edge obviously but I, I feel like taking this risk now right yeah yeah I feel like taking the risk could also you turn to be honest like if you well actually i don't think i want to u-turn i take too much damage with my other ones yeah I'll, I'll just risk a stone edge i'll just risk a stone edge i don't like risking a stone edge but they don't have the greatest switch in well they have gastrodon but i can just switch out from gastrodon it's fine well connect i do connect i should always kill it's fine risky but it's fine we know that Requinet is not speed up, at least at some point. I think the music is kind of making me nervous. I don't know if I select the right music for this one. Yeah, the music is kind of weird for me, I think. Like, it's not bad, but it's... Yeah. I don't think I'm the greatest fan. That's the best gas draw. Uh, I'll just go into Gloking. Yeah, I'm switching Gloking into a Groundmon, but it's kind of fine, right? Like, I won't deal that much damage, but I will deal some. 
Hopefully I don't get frozen, that would be nice, yeah. I think I will just future sight and then we will see. If it earthquakes me it will deal a lot, but I can switch out. Like if they earthquake me once it's kinda obvious that I switch out next turn, so they could easily just ice beam. But I mean I could also switch out into Aegislash, which I might just do. Uh, because, uh, yeah. Right. Because my Landris does not like to take an Ice Beam. We're just going to pin uh, into Aegislash. Like, I am not fine, but also not totally ruined by going Aegislash, yeah. They switch out, okay. Hmm, not the greatest fan. I, I wish I would have gone into Lando instead, but this can still be defiant, so maybe it was good that I didn't go Lando. I, and as long as it's not boosted, I should take one, unless it's banded. But they can just uh, obstruct here. Yeah. They knock off. I should take one. I do take one. I should just kill them. Like, yeah, it's not optimal, but it's kind of okay. Like, if they are focus sash, then that is a problem, but I will just close combat here. I mean, this whole situation is a problem in general because Gastrodon is just a major threat. And I did not bring anything for Gastron. Like, I did not prep for Gastron at all, I think. Did I? I don't think so. Did I even have a grass tub? Yeah, I could have. And I could have prepped some. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I didn't bring any monsters that are good against Gastron. And if the last one is Lucha, I'm screwed anyways, right? Yeah, I think so. I think if the last man is Lucha, I'm screwed anyways. So I think I just Shadow Ball once for damage. Yeah, I'll do it. Shoot out speed, I do out speed. Just Shadow Ball once. That's a good amount. It's totally fine. Question is do I go Glowking or do I go Lando? I could explode with Lando and then say yeah Glowking you are the one that handles the last one. I could go Glowking then switch into Lando and then explode. Is that a good move? Maybe. Probably not. But maybe. Yeah I'll go for it. Go Glowking then I go Lando. I hope they don't Ice Beam here. And then I just boom, I think, and I say cloaking. Like they either have Lucha, Roserad, or uh, Leela in the back, and I think cloaking should beat them all in theory, so I think that's my plan. Go for the cloaking endgame. They do Earthquake. Well, I could also just Earthquake, to be honest. I think I would rather explode red. I think I would rather... Like if they, they... My question is if they switch out, do I lose them? Because my Cloaking can't uh, kill the Gastrodon. Yeah, my Cloaking can't kill the Gastrodon. Well... Well, I'll explode anyways. I wanna explode. I do explode. Kill the Gastrodon. I should kill the Gastron. Yeah. And I think Cloaking should handle the last one. And we will see about it. Gastron is definitely a huge threat. Definitely. Like now we go Cloaking. What one is it? It's the Rezla de Rarara. Ra. 
Which means there are situations where I lose this. There definitely are. Like I might just kill it with a psychic. But it's not guaranteed. And yeah. If it's Sash, I always lose this. If it's... Uh, Yeah, there are definitely situations where I lose this. Okay. I should take one plus two hit. Unless they are weakness policy here and survive. But yeah, they are just dead. Okay, that's fine. So we win game one. But it was very, very close. And we had to show the explosion on Lando. Okay. And I, I definitely will change the music. I don't like the music. Like, I do like the music. Like, I, I don't know. I can change the music here, right? Please tell me I can change the music here. Because the music is kind of making me feel uneasy. I don't like this. I like Calyrex the last time. I think I'll just go with my comfort music of Clara. Yeah. Yeah. Go with my comfort music. So for game three, uh, game two, what do we do? They brought Lucha, but they did not bring the Psychic Terrain. They brought a Requinet, which was a huge problem. I don't know if the Obstagoon is Scarf, but definitely isn't banned. Scarf would make sense, especially with uh, Defiant. Like I've seen, I've seen uh, Scarf Defiant before. Kind of makes sense, yeah. Uh, would Toros take a hit? Yes, it would from Scarf. So I think this time we lead Toros, and yeah, I think I need Lando, and I think I need you. And I also want you, and I also want you, and I also want you. Perfect. But yeah. I could just... Bring the U limit anyways, because it does a lot of damage to everything, and... I can final damage something. Let's try this. Let's try this for game two. Let's see. We know the Lucha isn't Sash, but I mean, we expect it to be Psychic Seed anyways. And yeah. This is Boda again. Does Taurus deal with this Boda? Kinda yes, kinda no. I think I'll just body slam. Do you have no ghost thread? Yeah. I'll just body slam. I'll just get some big damage off. If this thing is banded, it can take me out. Which would not be optimal. If I had rock slide, I could threaten a KO on it. But I don't. Well, and even then, they would need to be quite offensive. Like, if they are banded, they will just take me out. Which is not optimal, but yeah. I, I don't know why I was like, yeah, I don't expect this to be banned because it could easily be banned, but it's not banned, okay. We take those Ultras Body Slam again. They have no switching. Like, literal zero. Literal zero switching. And Taurus is still valuable just because it's so fast. Like, Lucha outspeeds it, but otherwise, outspeeds everything. Like, the Obstagon is probably Scarf, but yeah. Let's just Body Slam again. Take out the Requinet. What do they do for the game? Uh, for the... Uh, yeah. What are the other ones, I wonder? Like, if it... If Lucha comes out here, I always go hard cloaking. Where's the Gastro? I'm fine with that, right? Gastro means I just hard body slam it, right? Like, I deal so much damage to it that I can even EQ it next turn with uh, Blender. And I did bring uh, the, the Excel. So yeah, I'll just body slam. I don't care. 
I won't switch. Don't see any reason to switch. But this kind of suggests that they aren't scarf obstacle in question mark. Because you would just go obstacle, but I mean after you kill me, I would always have a free egg slash and just take the KO like last time, so maybe it is the play to go Gastrodon instead. But now that they go Gastrodon instead, I can I could just bug bust this here. Problem is the whole loot in the pack. But I just always go into my stick claw and it should be fine question mark. Yeah, big question mark on that one. Yeah, I'll just bug bus like I did last time. Should be fine. Like the only thing that can come in that likes to take a bug bus. Well, Obstagoon doesn't like to take a bug bus, but if it is Scarf, like then it can just take the bug bus. Like, I mean, it can't take the bug bus, but it can attack me before I, I get my bug bus off. But it probably doesn't even knock me off out if it's scarf like I take a knockoff, like most times. Yeah, they go Lucha, okay. I think I always go cloaking. And I should take one hit at plus two. I use sword stance, yeah. I should take one hit at plus two. And if I don't, you have to be brave, bird. So it should be fine. And even brave, bird is not a guaranteed KO. And you take a lot of recoil and I can go Lando. And I should still outspeed you because you're not... Uh, well, you're probably white drop. I should take that. Yeah, I take that. Like, I am a weed, weed to uh, survive acrobatics. Which means I always survive Road Chop because it's just weaker than Acrobatics. So that is fine. You only have one, one left. I have Boom, Lando, I have Excelga with uh, Final Gambit. I should be fine. Yeah, there's no reason to switch out here, right? Yeah, there's definitely no reason to switch out here. Just try for a Focus Blast. Yeah, let's just try for a focus blast. No reason to switch out. If they are guts, I can go Excelgo. If they are... Well, if they are guts, I can go into Lando, I mean. And if they are not guts, they don't show guts, they are probably Scarf. I should be fine going into Excelgo and clicking bug bus. Like, I should take one body slam, always. Unless they para me into full para, then I'm dead. And if they're not Scarf, they should just die anyways. Ah, Sash? No. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, GG's to Thriller. It was a quick uh, quick two games. And yeah, it was week 3 of ICPR. See you next time. Bye.